Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Drama Area. In this video I will show you all the television dramas of Kasumi Arimura. But before we start don't forget to support me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Her first drama is The Woman of Steel. The drama is released between May 21st and July 2nd, 2010 and it contains 7 episodes of 24 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Mana Nishibari. The drama genres, are school and based on a comic, and the country, is, Japan. The drama is about, the 4th grade 3rd class section at Ikora Elementary School has changed teachers three different times, for the past year, the latest teacher to arrive for class 4, 3 is Haka Ineko, at temporary hire. Haka Ineko isn't confident, but she attempts to deal with the students and parents with a combination of softness and strictness. Although class 4, 3 looks like an ordinary classroom, the students are considered monster children. Her drama number 2 is, Spec, Birth. The drama is released between October 8, 2010, December 17, 2010 and it contains 10 episodes of 45 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Mayabi Masaki. The drama is also known as, Keizoku 2, Spec, Kishichuken Wikuen, Deigoku Mishu Jaiken Tokitsu Teisaku Gakori Jikinbo and, its genres, or mystery, comedy, supernatural and the country, is Japan. The drama is about the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department has set up a special department named Mishu, Unidentified Crimes Unit, for hard-to-crack cases without evidence, witnesses, or involving special organizations. These cases are beyond the scope of Keizoku, 1st Investigative Division's Unsolved Crimes Unit. The section chief for Mishu is Kotaro Nanamura. He is a senior in age with dignified look, so usually, nobody blames him even though his answers are evasive. Saitoma is a young woman with an IQ of 201. With her amazing intellect, she became part of the faculty at the Department of Science at Kyoto University without schooling. Takeru Sabumi is an excellent career detective. He was picked for the Metropolitan Police Department's SIT unit and became platoon leader by the young age of 27. He is also highly skilled with guns and the martial arts. Saitoma and Takeru Sabumi work on cases from Mishu first by postulating the spec of the unknown criminals. They then deduce the criminal's unknown spec, and use this information to trap the criminals. Her drama number 3 is, The Woman of Steel Season 2. The drama is released between April 21, June 16, 2011 and it contains 9 episodes of 22 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Mana Nishibari. The drama genres, are based on a comic and school and the country, is Japan. The drama is about Haka Ineko passed her teacher's exam with the encouragement of the kids in her 4-3 class. Haka is 36 years old wants to say that she is still single, but her boyfriend and ex-assistant homeroom teacher Wataru Shira proposes. While Haka looks at the engagement ring given to her by Wataru she feels happiness. One day, student Tao is transferred to her Haka's classroom. Tao's parents were deported from Japan for illegal entry. Even though Tao has a different nationality, Tao is Haka's student and is loved by her, but Tao holds strong resentment against Japan. Marie Kaikuda and other classmates clashes with Tao, Hiro Ibita and Erin Ikono attempt to understand Tao. Tao refuses their goodwill and becomes isolated from the other students. A rumor spread through the school that Tao committed theft, the bullying of Tao by the students become worse. Did Tao really steal? Haga wants to breath through the barrier by Tao and connect with her. To do so, Haga visits the previous school where Tao attended and talks to her ex-classmates. Her drama number 4 is, Clover. The drama is released between November 1, 2014 and its duration is 2 hours 0 minute duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Yuya Kiyama. 
the drama genres are comedy, romance and the country is Japan. The drama is about Suzuki Saya as an ordinary employee working at a hotel. She falls in love with her elite boss suit Susumu. Through their romance, Saya grows as a person. Her drama number 5 is Spec Life. The drama is released on April 1, 2012 and it contains one episodes of 1 hour 32 min duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Mayabi Masaki. The drama genres are based on a comic and school, and the country is Japan. The drama is about Haka Ineko passed her teacher's exam with the encouragement of the kids in her 4-3 class. Haka is 36 years old wants to say that she is still single, but her boyfriend and ex-assistant homeroom teacher Wataru Shira proposes. While Haka looks at the engagement ring given to her by Wataru she feels happiness. Her drama number 6 is, Boku no Natsuyasumi. The drama is released on July 2, 2012 and its duration is 30 minutes and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Haruna Oyama. The drama genre is, Drama and the Country, is Japan. Her drama number 7 is, Tsurukane Maternity Center. The drama is released between August 28. October 16, 2012 and it contains 8 episodes of 23 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Sayori Uehara. The drama is about Maria received a proposal from Tatsu and they married, but her marriage life doesn't have much happiness. Maria begins to worry about having a child and that thought begins to make her life empty. Meanwhile, a middle-aged midwife, Kameko wins the lottery and leaves for a trip to a small island in Okinawa. There, Akira, who is respected there, appeals to her to stay and work at the midwife clinic on the island. One year later, something happens to Maria which she never expected. Her drama number 8 is, The Brave Yoshiko and the Key of an Evil Spirit. The drama is released between October 12th. December 21, 2012 and it contains 11 episodes of 25 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as fake Murasaki. The drama is about Yoshiko and his group set out to find a wonder drug to cure an infectious disease that spreads throughout the village. Her drama number 9 is, Otashiki Jinpaki. The drama is released between January 10, 2013, March 28, 2013 and it contains 12 episodes of 30 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Kamiyamo. The drama is about in Osakusa, there is a family of rickshaw runners that spans five generations. They are all known as Kurumaya Jinpaki. The current Jinpaki used to work in Osaka, but was called back to Osakusa by his grandfather, who is the fourth generation's runner. One day, the secret of Kurumaya Jinpaki is shared by the grandfather to his grandson. They are not just any planned rickshaw runners, they are actually the vigilantes of Osakusa, going around saving the helpless and punishing the bad guys. Her drama number 10 is, Amakan. The drama is released between April 1, 2013, September 28, 2013 and it contains 156 episodes of 15 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Amano Haruko. The drama is also known as, Alma-chan and the genres are, Friendship, Music, Comedy, Life, School, Family, and Sports, and the country is, Japan. The drama is about Amana Aki goes with her mother Haruko to her hometown in Kadasanraku during a summer vacation. There, she meets her maternal grandmother, Netsu, for the first time. Netsu is a woman diver also known as Ama, and Aki thinks that is just so cool. Aki is a second year high school student, and she struggles to keep up with the fast paced life in Tokyo. Having been confined indoors most of the time, everything she sees in the rural town is exciting to her. But most of all, 
seeing her grandmother diving under the fierce surf along the coastline, leaves a huge impact on her. I think I would like to be a diver too. Her drama number 11 is, Tales of the Unusual, Spring 2013. The drama is released between November 3, 2000 and it contains one episode of 120 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Sumiko Tsujiura. Her drama number 12 is, Starman, This Star's Love. The drama is released between July 9, 2013, September 10, 2013 and it contains 10 episodes of 46 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Shoko Asui. The drama is also known as, Sudaman Konohashi no Koi in its genres, are mystery, romance, drama and, sci-fi in its country, is, Japan. The drama is about Suwako was dumped by her husband and since then she has raised her three sons alone. One day, she happens to meet a young man who is dying. She falls in love with him at first sight. The young man also suffers from memory loss. Suwako names him Hosho. Taking advantage of his memory loss, she decides to make him live with her as the father of her three sons. Now, Suwako, her three sons, her grandmother and Hosho all live together. Suwako hopes Hosho never regains his memory. Hosho also begins to develop feelings for her. Whenever Suwako has troubles, Hosho helps her out with his mysterious ability. Hosho's past is also mysterious. A mystery that is finally revealed. Her drama number 13 is, The After Dinner Mysteries Special. The drama is released between October 18, 2011, December 20, 2011 and it contains 10 episodes of 45 minutes duration and Kasumi Arimura played the support role as Yumiko Shoda. The drama is also known as, The After Dinner Mysteries, and its genres, are mystery, and comedy and the country, is, Japan. The drama is about Kagiyama as a butler working for a rich heiress, Raiko Hasho. Needed by detectives, Raiko is a novice detective that lacks a few deductive skills. Because of this, Kagiyama is relied on by Raiko to help solve cases. Kagiyama isn't afraid to use sharp words against Raiko either. This drama not only focuses on the detective cases, but the relationship between Butler and Eris. Here is guys the part 1 of Kasumi Arimura all her television dramas, if you want part 2 click here.